Lane Hurt here with track and field and cross country runner Maudie Skyrain. Maudie, these last couple of weeks having your season come to an abrupt end, what have the, the emotions been like for you and your teammates? It's been a very strange time, I guess you could say, quite a disappointing time. Um, it all actually started while I was away in Albuquerque for indoor nationals. So the emotions were very high at that point. Finding out that we weren't going to be able to compete at indoor nationals was very disappointing. But also that came, what came with that news was that we weren't going to have an outdoor season. So I think at first I was very upset about indoor nationals and really wanting to race there and be able to compete. But then it's sort of more sunk in that I wasn't going to be able to compete at all again for however many months. So I think that's been the harder thing to wrap my head around. Um, sort of what am I going to do with all this time? And yeah, like what are the goals now? So yeah, it's been quite a strange time trying to figure out all these things and yeah, overcome the emotions. But yeah. hey, you, you talk about Albuquerque and I was there with you guys. You showed up to for training day at the at the convention center and you, you get the news there what was that feeling like and and how have you been able to to process it and i don't know if say positive spins the right word to use but how have you kind of been able to move past that yeah so we were on the way to the track actually to do our pre-meet when we found out the news that acc had um said we couldn't compete so at first it was I think we were almost mad because we were like, this isn't fair, like we're already here. Um, some schools are going to get to compete while others can't. So it was a weird kind of couple hours. We went to the track. We saw people still doing their pre-race routines and everything. And I was just like, how is this all going to turn out? And sort of obviously you don't want it to be cancelled for everyone else, but it was kind of like if some can't compete, you sort of think everyone should be able to compete. So I think the right decision was made in that sense, but I think, you know, it would have been great if we could have just had a couple more days of the season and been able to finish off indoor. I think it would have been a little, a sweet ending to something and then wouldn't have been so sad to not have any more races if we were able to have that one last opportunity. But um, so after indoor, I actually, I went on a break. That was the plan either way, whether I was going to have outdoor or not. So I've been on my, it would have probably only been a week break, but we've made it a two-week break since there were so many unknowns. So right now I've just been doing a lot of relaxing, hanging out with teammates, you know, just trying to keep my mind off running. Um, and then just recently I actually found out I have a small, I have a stress reaction in my lower leg, which was sort of a little bit of a niggle while I was away at Nationals. Um, so that is disappointing, but I'm kind of going to look at it as a bit of a blessing because I was sort of wondering how we were going to tackle the next sort of months with no racing probably until maybe September, hopefully, with cross country. So now I can just kind of work on regaining a bit of strength and focus on some other areas because I can't run for about four to six weeks right now. So, yeah. So for you, you're in the boat of looking for ways to to do some of your your strength training. How how are you you and your teammates doing with that? Are you fi are you finding creative ways to do that? And as far as your teammates go, I imagine they're hitting the trails and, and some of the nice places mm -hmm. wherever they're at. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. I think everyone's kind of it's been very big change to what we're used to. They're just enjoying it, you know, because there's no. No one's being forced to it. There's no pressure, but that we still actually all enjoy what we do do. Um, and sort of everything just keeps training, uh, changing. So like last week we were still able to use the weight room and the track and everything. And now everything's completely shut. So it's a very evolving process and figuring out what we can and can't do. So now that everything is shut, it's going to be a little bit harder, but People are trying to do home workouts and luckily running is an activity that you can do in solitude and just go out and hit the hit the roads and stuff. So luckily we have that aspect of it that we can still keep training if that's what we want to do. But it's going to be a long process with no racing for a while. So I think everyone's just sort of taking a bit of downtime to recover and get get more motivated for later on. We don't want to burn ourselves out 
ourselves out too much right now. So, yeah, hopefully, no, looks like there's not going to be any sort of outdoor racing, but hopefully we still will have a cross-country season come fall. Uh, you know, obviously you missed the competition, the time with teammates and, and those things. Is there a small thing that you didn't realize you might miss in a situation like this because you never thought you'd be in a situation like this? Yeah, I think I almost definitely miss a bit of the structure, you know, every day, like meeting up with all my teammates, just having all people around to chat with. It's kind of, yeah, you feel feeling a little lost right now, like not exactly sure what to do. And I think the more scary part is because I know I've been enjoying a little bit of a break right now, but the scary part is we just don't know how long this is going to last and really what the future holds right now for um, university, for the NCAA sports and everything. So we're all very just hopeful that things will get back on track not too far away. But, yeah, I think it's just a bit scary right now and we're just hoping that we'll still be able to run for FSU and all those things down the track. But, yeah. Just missing the, just being with all my teammates and having that sort of structure. Everyone right now is, is looking for new sources of, of entertainment. Is there anything that you may have seen online or a hobby you may have picked up that you want to share with people that they might think is, is kind of cool and cool or interesting? Hmm. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of, a lot of TikTok videos. A lot of my teammates have been doing that sort of stuff, you know, something you can do inside. Um, we were doing a lot of like sport and tanning and just hanging out last week, but you know, that's becoming a little bit harder, but you know, I'm looking to try and get into some things this summer. I want to learn how to braid my hair for races. Cause that's something I don't know how oh, to okay. do. So something I'm like, oh, I can use some time to figure out that maybe get into some things like yoga and stuff, which I can do at home. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying some new things and yeah, doing some things that you don't normally have time for just some more personal time but yeah who's the best braider on the team oh um Addie Coggins she's really good she's usually got everyone going to a hotel room on the day of race <laughs> and getting their braids done um so yeah hopefully some more of us can learn and ease her stress on race day <laughs> <laughs> finally Marty do you have a, a message for the fans so what was that do you have a message for the fans the fans. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I just like to say that it's great to have like all the support that we have had over the last couple of weeks. And I know that there's so many athletes in the position that we're in where sort of our life revolves around our sport. That's how we, you know, that's what we focus on. That's what we do. So it's a hard time right now. We're sort of figuring out what we're kind of going to do with our lives and sort of things. And, it's been hard for me yeah, deciding whether I should go home to Australia or stay here. Um, so it's been a weird situation. I decided to stay here at the moment to hopefully finish out the semester and then head home after that. Um, I feel like my home is kind of here right now, but I do definitely want to go home and see my family. But luckily they were actually here for nationals and stuff, so I got to see them then. But, yeah, just... Hopefully that we can all get through this together and everyone keeps supporting each other. And hopefully there's bigger things to come. All right, perfect. Well, thank you, Monty, for taking some time. I hope uh, you and your family are able to stay safe. You too.